There is no doubt in my mind we are approaching the age of the Antichrist. And while AI is going to play a huge role with the Antichrist, the false prophet, and all that go along with them. And now, an AI Jesus? Are you kidding me? We're going to dive in and discuss. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times. Thank you for spending part of your day with me today. Reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, that's all I can do. If you could really quick also, guys, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Share the video across all your, your platforms. Help me get around the algorithms. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Of course, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. Oh, boy. You know, the Bible is clear. It says that you should not have any other gods, no false gods, nothing like that before the true God, our Father, Jehovah himself. But that has not stopped individuals to use AI to create their own Jesus. That's right. In an interesting development here, a Twitch channel is called Ask Jesus. That's right. That's the name of it. Ask Jesus has had people flocking to it as the channel uses a AI chatbot that poses as Jesus for people to come on into the live streams and basically ask Jesus anything. That's right. You know, and, and you think about it. Why do they use the name of Jesus, right? You know, they don't use Mohammed. They don't use any other God, right? No, they use Jesus. Because what they are trying to do here is make a mockery out of our Lord and Savior by creating this alternate Jesus. But you and I both know there are consequences to that. I, more on this in a second. I'm going to tell you also what the stream is doing. But really quick, if you guys enjoy my daily content here, consider supporting me and my ministry with generous donation. You can click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can make a one-time donation. Or hey, Join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. Go to patreon.com slash notbysightnews. I set up a goal for the month of June. We're trying to get five new patrons to join the channel. We got one sign up so far, but we're still looking for four more. And when you join the Patreon, you guys get the alerts for all my videos. Unlike the YT notifications, you're not going to get all of it from there. You can also comment censorship free on every video and send me direct messages. So check it out. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, the individuals who have created this Twitch channel for the Ask Jesus uh, are a couple of Belgium streamers now that have put the channel together. And, you know, there's even been some Christians that have actually been complimenting the Twitch channel, saying that it's a great way, it's a great tool to spread the gospel. But I'm sorry, I have to disagree. Again, what you have done is you have created an AI version of Jesus. Here's the thing. Jesus don't need no chat bot to speak for him. If you have a personal relationship with him, you don't need to be going on to some random Twitch site, throwing questions in the chat, and chatting with Jesus. Are you kidding me? Jesus is alive. If you have a personal relationship with him, you can talk with him at any time. One-on-one -on -one in prayer. I, I, but, but that's not what these people are doing. And let's also not forget this. The Bible says that the Antichrist, that there would be an image made of the beast, right? And that all would be required to worship that image. I truly believe that AI is going to play a huge role in that. An AI form of the Antichrist. And at some point, the AI will continue to develop it to the point where it says that, well, this Jesus is not the true Messiah. Jesus is a, is a false Messiah. He's not the son of God. And then it will name the Antichrist as the true son of God. You see where this is all going? Am I the only one who sees this? And I'm blind for crying out loud. We are coming up to the end of time. You need to be walking with the Lord in these days, in these final days. But if you're not, well, this is your chance. Something I do on all these videos, that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything going on. I do it because, again, we are in the last days. Christ is coming soon. 
For anybody watching now, if you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You guys can join my Patreon family as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Help me with my goal for the month of June, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we got one sign up so far, but we're looking for four more. Or you guys can click that super thanks button down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.